Maybe you'll. It's not a story. Uh, this is from The Guardian. So this is about the coronavirus. Super rich jet off to disaster bunkers amid coronavirus outbreak. Like hundreds of thousands of people across the world, the super rich are preparing to self-isolate in the face of an escalation in the coronavirus. But their plans extend far beyond stocking up on hand sanitizer and TV box sets. The world's richest people are chartering private jets to set up for holiday homes or specially prepared disaster bunkers in countries that so far appear to avoid the worst of the COVID-19 outbreak. Many are understood to be taking personal doctors or nurses on their flights to treat them and their families in the event that they become infected. The wealthy are also besieging doc- doctors in private clinics in Harley Street, London, and across the world demanding private coronavirus tests. To avoid overwhelming limited testing facilities, the NHS said it would only test people with a high chance of having an illness. Many people who had close contact with a confirmed case who had recently gone to a high-risk country. Mark Alley Chief Executive and Medical Director of the private Harley Street Clinic said this has led to a huge demand from very wealthy people asking if they can pray for private testing. Unfortunately, we are unable to offer testing as the NHS has said all tests should be done centrally. The Department of Health and Social Care has demanded that all tests must be carried out by the NHS and Public Health England, PHE. However, an employee at another Harley Street practice who declined to be named said their clinic had arranged for concerned clients to be tested in other countries or for samples to be sent abroad for testing. Ali, a cardiovascular surgeon, said his clients had pleaded for COVID-19 vaccination, even though scientists said it would be at least a year until a vaccine was developed. The COVID-19 outbreak certainly fired up people's reactions, Ali said. We have given a lot of general flu vaccines and consultations for people who wanted to talk in detail about the health and lifestyle. Ali said his clinic was also offering the worried, wealthy and intravenous infusions of vitamins and minerals to boost their immune system. We know that 90% of adults have a deficiency in vitamins. What better to improve that than an IV immune boost? Intravenous inf- infusion ensures instant and optimal delivery of these nutrients to the body cells, and the nutrients should include vitamins such as vitamin C, vitamin B12 complex, glutathione, zinc, and essential amino acids such as arginine, taurine, lysine, and citrulline. The treatment costs £350. Ken Langoni, co-founder of the Home Depot chain, knew where to turn when seeking medical advice on the outbreak. The 84-year-old billionaire called an executive and top scientist at NYU Langoni Health, the New York hospital named after him, which he chairs. What I've been told by people who are smaller than me is in diseases, as of right now, it's a bad flu, he told Bloomberg. Adam Twiddle, chief executive of the private jet booking service, Private Fly, this firm was continuing to see a jump in bookings as wealthy people arrange evacuation flights home from high-risk countries. It's a many are from groups which include elderly passengers or those health conditions that make them particularly concerned about exposure to crowds on airline flights. We have just flown back to L- a group back to London from the south of France with an immunocompromised passenger on board. Twiddle said other rich clients were arranging flights out of the UK and other European countries and advanced the possible introduction of nationwide quarantines following Italy's lead. Quintessentially, the concierge company for millionaires said members who could not quite afford private jets had requested access to private airport lounges to avoid the risk of interacting with large numbers of the traveling public. Members who are traveling commercially are choosing to book elite services at airports, not your typical first-class lounge, a spokeswoman said. For example, private terminals where guests are greeted and given their own suite. Checking in, customs and security are all done privately and guests are taken to the doors of the aircraft. Members can request for the jetty to be cleared so they minimize the interaction with other passengers on their way to the seat. Quint essentially said one of its members had converted his home into a military-style bunker and refusing any visitors unless they provide detailed record of their movement and contacts. Robert Vecino, founder and chief me- executive of Vivos Group, a California-based company constructing underground shelters designed to withstand a range of natural disasters and catastrophes, said his firm has seen a surge in inquiries and sales since the crisis took hold. Vivos has converted a Cold War bunker in Indiana into accommodation for 80 people and is offering space in 575 concrete bunkers in an abandoned Second War Ordnance Depot in South Dakota. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm going to leave this article in the description. Please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.